Ephesians 3 verses 16 to 18 that he would grant you, according to the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, that ye, being rooted and grounded in love, may be able to comprehend with all saints what is the breadth and length and depth and height. This is part of a prayer by the Apostle Paul, which he prayed for the Ephesian believers and all thereafter, that's us. We'll look at this in a different light when we cover some selections in Ephesians later. Meanwhile, a couple of things to note that Paul here prayed are that God would grant some things to believers according to him proportion to the riches of his glory, that this granting to believers would include being strengthened with might by his Spirit in the inner man, the source of any strength or fruit in our lives, Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, that Christ may dwell in your hearts by faith, which is an absolute provision that we need to believe and rest in, and that believers would be rooted and grounded in love to the extent that believers would be able to comprehend. All of these grantings are culminated in comprehend, truly understand and fully believe, and the only way we comprehend is by studying His Word for comprehension. It's not just reading the Word, although that is good too but it is by studying the word that we eventually, when ready are prepared of the Spirit, come to rightly divide it and thereby comprehend and have a basis for faith therein. Upon this comprehension, all of the other grantings depend, as you will not appropriate what you do not understand and thereby believe faith is yours example. If you don't believe it's in the bank, then you will not write the check. Believer, study to be able to comprehend.